Welcome back everybody, Renegade Bad Boy 89. So I'm going to continue on my uh, tutorial on uh, Light and Lake. So when you hit the continue, it's going to load you on the previous map that you were recently on. So let's hit the continue. Alright, and one other thing, so wherever you were on the map, the closest to the to an outpost or may, perhaps a tent as well it's going to spawn you closer to that area another thing is I did not mention in the other clip so let's go here so if you go into the store and for your weapons so here you see how much the prices are obviously the locked I do not have the cash um, but to be able to unlock some of the weapons, so if you go to the 270, I already own it, so I don't need to unlock it. Uh, let's go. Let's go for the seven mil. So for the seven mil, to unlock it, I need for this one here, I need 36,000. But you also ha need to uh, make the score for the weapon. So right now I'm at 101 score. I need 1,925 then I'll be able to unlock this weapon so the more you use the rifles so like you can see it says rifle score same thing for the handguns the more you use the weapon the more score you get out of it uh, the bow I don't think the bow I don't think it matters except for some of them uh, like I said before, I have all the DLCs, so a lot of, a lot of these uh, weapons are free for me. Uh, and if you go to shotguns, the same thing. So for this shotgun, if you want to unlock the pump shotgun, that's a 12 gauge. I need at least a 1,573 score to unlock. I would recommend focusing on the rifles first. Alright folks, so another thing. So in each map you have missions it's a good way to uh, get XP and it's a good good way to uh, make money so I'm actually gonna track this mission it says travel to hopes camp so I'm gonna track it then it should pop up on the map so hopes camps over in this direction so I'm gonna put a waypoint and I'm gonna make my way over there alright folks so I'm on my way towards the uh, waypoint now I did spot out a, a moose it's only a cow but you're able to shoot females and males in this game so I don't know I do not have a rangefinder right now but what you can do bring up your map so you see where you are on the map and this is where the animal is that I just spotted so she's 294 yards so she's quite the ways but I know I can pull that off with the 270. So I'm going to give it a try. Now like I said I do not have the best scope. So maybe it's probably not the best idea. She is quite far and she is hard to see. So I'm going to see if I can move in closer. Alright folks. So I did manage to move in a bit closer. She's right there. I just spotted her out. So from my area where I am now. She's about 260. So this is better range for me, especially using the 270, and she is still hard to see. Don't know if I can make higher ground. Another trick you can do is if you actually spot her. Or did she move? Or am I not looking in the right place anymore? Okay, no, she's there. So what you can do is if you spot her, she will stay highlighted. Not too sure if that was a vital. Alright folks, so I'm in the area where I shot the moose. Uh, I did not make a good hit. She did not die. And let's just give you a little trick here too. If you want to change the color for the tracks you can go ahead and do that so active tracks you can have them set any any color you want 
I'm pretty sure I went with uh, yellow. And then you can have them highlight when they're uh, spotted. I personally don't, but when I first played the game I did. And then if you have them that you're tracking, the ones that you were looking for, you can have them green so you, do, you don't get confused. So now if I click on the moose tracks, okay wait a minute, that's still the yellow. I may have did this backwards. Okay, no, it's active tracks. Let's put that green and we'll leave these ones yellow. So inactive tracks are going to be yellow and the active tracks are going to be green. Alright folks, I just spotted on another moose. So let's spot her. So now you see on the top it says drinking zone discovered. So whenever you see an animal doing something in one spot, so this is the moose where I spotted her and now I have a drinking zone. So her drinking zone is from 8.30 to 12.30. And she's actually a bit closer. Got a couple of deer there as well. Let's see if we can go for the moose. Actually, maybe I should go for the deer. And my heart rate is going crazy. Not sure if I'd be able to get a shot on the deer by the time the heart rate gets down. I believe I did make contact with that buck and he is down. Alright folks, so here's our buck. So I definitely got a good shot on him, so let's pick him up. So I shot him at 190 yards, got a left lung. So that's a very nice uh, shot. And I also just leveled up. Alright folks, so I am in the uh, area of the camp. So I did not hit my record button in time, but he uh, told me that I got to find some tracks. So let's take a look around and see if we can find anything. And I know for this mission you have to take a picture of the tracks. So let's get closer. Should be some tracks over here. That there on the ground is droppings. Another thing with the droppings, if you're tracking an animal. Now when it says uh, this is a uh, black bear droppings, so if it says it's very old, that means it's quite the ways away. got another stand here I can buy but I'm not gonna purchase it because I'm really low on cash so this is uh, what Hope's camp looks like now let's put the gun away Great. Snap some pictures for the record and see if they lead anywhere I'm gonna bring up the camera troublemaker then. Now I don't want you to go pick in any fights, but maybe you could follow them and see where they lead. So basically just follow the tracks like you said. So just for doing that mission, it gave me $2,500, which is really good. So like I said, it's kind of a good idea that you uh, do the missions. It uh, pays w really well. One map that really pays good and has a good story to it is Yukon Valley. So if you do not have that map, I would actually suggest you uh, purchase it. It's Like I said, it's got a really good storyline to it. I really enjoy it, and it pays really well for doing the missions. Alright folks, when you are 
when you're walking around and you see things like this, you can click on them. Be careful when hunting black bear. Not only are they unpredictable, but they also make very little sound and leave few tracks. You can sneak up on one without realizing it. Fortunately, they'll probably notice you before you them and will keep their distance. Now, what he said about the bear is pretty much true. Um, the way they react. So I just, this is a resting zone for black bear from 8 o'clock in the morning to 12.30. And then if you look on your map, it'll be on your map. So it'll tell you the same thing. Now, right now I'm on my way to another uh, lookout tower. So I'll catch you guys later. Alright folks, I just made it to the other uh, lookout tower. It's so like from the previous clip, I got the lookout tower so it unlocked uh, more things around me. So I do have another outpost here that I can go uh, get. So I'm going to work my way there. Another thing what I forgot to mention is when you at the store you can actually get an ATV. So the best bet for you, seeing the fact that you're going to be new to the game, I would actually grab an ATV and go to all the lookout towers and get all the outposts because it's really going to help you in the long run. So that way you're going to be able to fast travel in different areas. Another thing is if you look in the, on the top you see your skill points and perk points. So I have one of each. So I'm going to show you this. So for the skills you have uh, Stalker and Ambusher. So you have your different things what you can get better. So like this one here you can uh, locate the uh, tracks better uh, ambusher obviously you gotta select the first one no matter what you don't have to do them fully until you're able to unlock spotting knowledge uh, this increases it gives you the information of the animals when you're looking at them through the binoculars so let's start with I'll start with this one I guess and I have a perk the perks are for your weapons so seeing the fact I'm using the rifle I'm gonna go with this first so I just unlocked it once so it unlocks the ability to ready your next shot without leaving aim mode so that means now I can take a shot and I do not have to uh, hold on a second before I so if I shoot it recharges and I'm able to take a follow-up shot before when I took a shot I would have to uh, stop aiming and it would recharge and then shoot and then aim and shoot again but now I can just keep down sight and it recharges the gun alright folks here I'm gonna show you so if you go to the store, if you go to the garage, you can pick an ATV, they're free. And once you select it, it just pops right beside the uh, outpost. So you can hop on it. One thing you're going to notice, it makes a bunch of noise. So if you're actually trying to stalk an animal, you're going to end up spooking it. Now I actually placed an another uh, waypoint to uh, to another outpost, so I'm going to get back to you. Alright folks, I just made it to the other outpost. So one thing you're going to notice too, on the map, what I forgot to mention is there's a bunch of trails that you can take throughout the map so that way you don't have to go through all the heavy uh, brush and tree lines uh, 
Now this this part on the map, this is a very good spot to hunt. Now the best thing to do is if you actually walk across the side of the uh, water line, you're bound to find all kinds of animals, especially during their drinking time. Now the maps are uh, fairly fairly big on the game, so uh, it will take you quite some time to actually travel on foot. So that's why I mentioned before it's better to uh, take an ATV, get all the uh, lookout towers unlocked and the outpost, and make it a lot easier. But I I do like uh, exploring the map on foot, and while I'm working my way to a destination, if I can uh, find an animal while I on my way to my destination, it's even better. Now when you're using the ATV you won't be finding too many animals because of the fact of the noise so I did not come across any animals because the ATV makes so much noise they just run away alright folks I got a spot on my first black bear she's actually in the resting zone so let's actually spot her out again now the 270 is good for the black bear I should have did the trick. I'm pretty sure I got a lung. Hopefully I got a lung. Maybe I did make a bad shot. Let's check out the blood splatter. Okay, if she was resting here, I did make a bad shot. I don't think she's gonna die. Alright folks, so I uh, checked out the hunting pressure, and I did create hunting pressure from shooting the black bear, so I'm gonna pick her up. So actually, I did shoot her twice. First shot did not make any penetration, and the second shot I got her in the rear. She's still going to give me $756. Now it is better to uh, make uh, vital shots, you get more cash out of it, and XP. And like I mentioned about the missions, so you're going to have your story missions, and you're also going to have side missions to do. So, either way, it's going to help you give cash. So, uh, these are the ones that I completed. This was at the beginning. So, I have two side missions, and I do have the story mission. So, this one here, for Hope, it says to travel to Balmont and ID three different bear tracks. So, I'm pretty sure I just did two. I need one more. So, actually, I'm going to track it. So folks, seen the fact that I tr decided to track it. So this is Balmont. So you have all this area to ID three different uh, bear tracks. All right, folks. There's one other thing that I can show you. It's gonna make you make it a lot easier to uh, find your stuff for certain weapons. So for example, if you're on the the 270 and you click uh, compatible items it will bring you up to all everything that you need that can go onto that rifle so you can have a red uh, raptor uh, reflex sight I don't use it I always use the Hypron uh, scope that's uh, one scope that you're gonna wanna unlock next here's a night vision scope and this is the scope that is already equipped and then your uh, ammunition. It makes it a lot easier if you're having trouble finding it through the store. Alright folks, I just came across another uh, black bear resting. So let's see if I can get a good shot on her. So as you can see, the fact that I'm laying down, that the gun is a lot more steady. Except for the heart rate. 
Now that's the thing when you're uh, fresh to the game, when you're holding your breath, it doesn't give you uh, a lot of time to take a shot. I'm gonna hold my breath now. I'm pretty sure that looked like a good shot. Alright folks, so I did not get a good hit on her. I just remembered that I'm using the uh, soft point uh, tips, so they do not have the best uh, penetration. I don't even know where to begin with Jonathan. He probably feels like he's becoming one with nature out here. And I can understand that, of course. But he's walking a fine line. And I worry one day he might find himself on the wrong side. So I don't know what kind of shot I did put on her, but I do have hunting pressure, so I'm going to try to track her down. Alright folks, so uh, unfortunately I did not make a good shot on my uh, black bear. That's a decent sized buck over there. I definitely want to go for that bigger buck. Hopefully I got the shot on one. Alright folks, so I did find one of the deer I shot. This is a buck. So, messed up on that shot. Got him in the neck. But I did not connect to the, uh, the bone. So it doesn't count as a vital hit. So this is what you want to make sure that you check. So I use the proper ammunition. So you cannot shoot an animal more than two times. You want to make sure that you uh, hit the organs, and which I did not do. I did not. Uh, I did not get a vital hit. All right, folks. I'm about to unlock another outpost. So when you fast travel on the map to different outposts, even on your tents when you have them placed, uh, fast traveling does not cost you any money, but changing the time does. And depends on the outpost, sometimes it gives a different, uh, like this one it's still $250, but it's not always the case. Some uh, spots it's going to have a different price, so you got to be careful with that. Oh, I got another skill point, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get one of those. I'm going to continue on the stalker. So seeing the fact that I unlocked the first one, now the second column, tier 1, is unlocked. So I'm going to go with uh, track knowledge. So now when I spot an animal, it's going to reveal the information about an animal's gender when investigating footprints and vocalization. So now when I get a, a call from an animal, if I click on it, it's going to let me know if it's a male or female. Another thing folks, if you're not too sure on what's on your map, uh, go to your codex, uh, go to Hunter, Leaderboards, and then Animals, and it's going to tell you everything what's on the on the map. So there's Whitetail, Blacktail, uh, Roosevelt uh, Elk, Coyote, Black Bear, Moose, White-tailed Jackrabbit, and another thing I forgot to mention earlier was the ducks. Obviously you're going to need birdshot with the, for hunting the ducks, or you can use a 22. i I'm going to just give you a little sh show you here. So like, actually I don't have to go in my, uh, so like I mentioned before, so, for the ammunition, 
So the 243 is good from class 2 to 6. And the 270 is good from class 4 to 8. So that means, and it shows you on the bullets, like the animals, it shows you the icons. So I can shoot up to a, a, a moose. The, two, the 243 I cannot. Now if you're not too sure, there's another way you can check that too. Uh, I think if you go to the reserves, there's a way to hunter. Hold on a second. Okay, sorry. If you go to Codex and you go to Wildlife, this will bring up all the animals in the game. So if I click on Black Bear, now you see on the top it says Black Bear and then it says their class. So he's a class 7 animal. So I can shoot him with the 270. You've seen the fact that he's class uh, f from, f from 4 to 8. And let's see if we go to Blacktail. So Blacktail and Whitetail are going to be the same. They're, they're going to be class 4. So these guys are going to be the lowest class what you can shoot with the 270. Now, if you go to a coyote, if I can find it. So he's only going to be a class 2. So like I mentioned before, you're going to need to use the proper ammunition to shoot the animals. So with the 243, it's from class 2 to 6. So I can use the 243 on the coyote to pass the harvest check. Well, folks, uh, that's going to be the end of this clip. I don't know what else more to uh, let you guys know about, but if I think about something, I will uh, make a, a third clip of a tutorial. So hopefully for you new players on uh, Hunter Call of the Wilds, hopefully it helps you out. And uh, for those that do watch my videos, I like I said in the past, I really appreciate it. Like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys all next time.